Roman Reigns actually stole part of his name from another wrestler. When Reigns signed with WWE, he knew exactly what he wanted to be called, Roman. However, WWE told him he needed a last name. There was another WWE development wrestler named Calvin Reigns who had just been released from his contract. This gave Roman the idea to call himself Roman Reigns. Before he made it official, Corey Graves suggested that Roman spell Reigns R-E-I-G-N-S, like how a king reigns over his kingdom. Roman took the advice and never looked back. How The Undertaker got his name was pretty unusual. After being told by his employer that nobody would pay to see him wrestle, Mean Mark Callis left WCW and got in contact with WWE. The future dead man had a meeting with the company, but they didn't agree to hire him. Then, a few months later, the phenom got a call, and the person on the other end asked, is this The Undertaker? The dead man had no idea what this person was talking about, but he said yes, which was the correct answer. Vince McMahon later told the phenom that he had the idea for The Undertaker character for a while, but couldn't find the right person to betray it. It's safe to say that me, Mark Callis, was the right guy. Now, technically, The Undertaker's original name was Kane The Undertaker. However, it quickly got shortened, but the name Kane would pop back into The Undertaker's career. Over six years after The Undertaker debuted, WWE needed an opponent for him. This led to a storyline where The Undertaker discovered he had a brother he thought was dead. A man named Glenn Jacobs, who had wrestled in WWE under a few different names, was given the role. Originally, WWE wanted to call The Undertaker's brother Inferno, since the story was that the brother had been burned in a fire. Jacobs thought it sounded too cartoony, and a WWE writer named Bruce Pritchard agreed. They came up with the name Cain, which was inspired by the story of brothers Cain and Abel from the Bible. Did you know, there are actually two Rey Mysterios. Long before coming to WWE, the Master of the 619 went by a few different names. These included La Gloricha Verde, which means the Green Lizard, and Calibri, or Hummingbird. However, after proving himself, the Masked Luchador was given the name Rey Mysterio Jr. by his uncle, who was the original Rey Mysterio. Ray kept this name until he debuted in WB, and they dropped the junior and simply called him Ray Mysterio. Also, in case you're wondering, Ray Mysterio means Mystery King. Before he could make his WWE debut, Edge had to come up with a ring name. He wanted to just use his real name, Adam Copeland, but at the time, WWE wasn't allowing real names. While driving through Albany, New York, the radar superstar was listening to a local radio station called The Edge. He thought the name Edge sounded good, and the rest is history. Before she was called Sasha Banks, she was known as Mercedes KV. However, once she signed with WWE, Mercedes had to come up with a new name. She wrote down Sasha with a different last name, and Banks with a different first name. However, it was WB coach Sarah Del Rey that told the boss to combine the two. Thus, Sasha Banks was born. However, Sasha Banks' mom hated it because she thought it sounded like a porn name. Chris Jericho had a totally different name in mind. Before he made his wrestling debut, Y2J wanted to call himself Jack Action. He was convinced it would make him millions until someone told him it sounded stupid. The future WB star agreed and remembered that the band Halloween had an album called Walls of Jericho. The young wrestler decided to take his real first name, Chris, and combine it with Jericho. Stone Cold Steve Austin actually got his name in two parts. Early in his career, Austin used his real name, Steve Williams. However, when he went to work for a company called USWA, he was told he couldn't be called Steve Williams because there was already a wrestler with that name. The guy running the show, who was actually Zeb Coulter, ended up deciding that Steve Williams' new name would be Steve Austin because Steve was from Austin, Texas. Years later, the Texas Rattlesnake joined WWE and was given a new name, the Ringmaster. Austin hated the character and wanted to do something more serious. After watching a documentary about a serial killer named Richard Kuklinski, Steve Austin pitched a sadistic, cold-blooded character to WWE. The company agreed, but wanted Austin's new name to either be Ice Dagger, Otto Van Ruthless, or Fane McFrost. Those names were terrible, so Steve had to figure out something else. While thinking about it, Austin's wife at the time gave him a cup of hot tea. She then said, go ahead and drink your tea before it goes stone cold. And just like that, Stone Cold Steve Austin was born. The origins and meaning of CM Punk's name are difficult to find since Punk himself will make stuff up. What's the CM stand for? Is uh, Charles Montgomery. C. C. Montgomery Burns. However, when CM Punk first started wrestling, he got put into a tag team called the Chick Magnets. Chick Magnet didn't really fit, as the strange wrestler saw himself more as a punk. To get around it, Chick Magnet was shortened to CM, and he added on punk. As Punk's career grew, the CM eventually started meaning Chicago Made, since Chicago is the city where Punk was born and raised. However, in 2018, Punk was in a $1 million defamation lawsuit with a WWE doctor. Under oath, Punk was asked what CM meant. Since he was in a position where he couldn't joke or lie, the former WWE champion said that CM officially stands for Chick Magnet. 
Before joining WWE, Bailey was called Davina Rose. However, WWE wouldn't let her use it, and she had to come up with a new name. Bailey threw out a number of ideas, and WWE ended up giving her three choices. One was Davina, but without the N, so it was Davia. Since that wasn't a real name, she ended up picking one of the other options, Bailey. Bailey suggested the name be spelled with B-A-Y at the beginning, since she is from the San Francisco Bay Area. Why is Triple H called Triple H? In 1985, the game joined WWE after leaving their rival, WCW. WWE was working on a new name for Triple H, and they came up with Reginald DuPont Helmsley. Triple H didn't like it, and came up with some other names. After reviewing the game's suggestions, WWE said it called Triple H Hunter Hearst Helmsley. His character was a stabby elitist, and the name worked well for about two years. In 1987, Helmsley joined Shawn Michaels to form D-Generation X, a gang of edgy rebels. The name Hunter Hearst Helmsley no longer fit, so WWE decided to shorten the game's name to Triple H, which is also the nickname that Helmsley's friends and co-workers have been calling him backstage. The story of how Hulk Hogan got his name is really fascinating. During the 1970s, Hulk Hogan was wrestling as Terry Boulder. Hogan appeared on a talk show where he sat next to Lou Ferrigno, an actor most well known for playing the Incredible Hulk. Ironically, Hogan was actually bigger than Ferrigno. This caused Hogan to start calling himself Terry the Hulk Boulder. Later, the Hulkster joined WWE and the owner at the time, Vince McMahon Sr., wanted Hogan to have an Irish name. They decided to give him the surname of Hogan and make Hulk his first name, likely due to alliteration. Ironically, Hogan means youth, but the Hulkster was already losing hair when he made his WWE debut. Dolph Ziggler was almost called David Diggler. That was the name WWE came up for him, but the show-off didn't feel it'd work. The company gave him 15 minutes to come up with a new name. However, it had to have a D. Ziggler thought of his great-grandfather, who was named Rudolph, so Ziggler shortened it to just Dolph. He couldn't think of a last name, but asked that not be Diggler. The creative team then came back with the name Dolph Ziggler. The show-off still thought it sounded too cartoonish and even went to Vince McMahon to try and change it. The boss wouldn't budge and said it was different and people wouldn't forget it. The Miz came up with his WWE name before even stepping foot in a wrestling ring. In 2002, the A-lister appeared on a reality TV show called The Real World. There, he introduced an alter ego called The Miz. Hurts. You think that hurts? Check this shit out! That doesn't hurt a thing! Cause I am Miss, and the miss does not break. Do you understand me? Stop! Oh God! It doesn't break. As you can see, The Miz loved wrestling, so he eventually tried to join WWE and brought along his character. This is the true story of when The Miz came to the Million Dollar Tough Enough Challenge! Once he made his debut, Miz would still be called by his real name, Mike Bazanin, for a short while, but that stopped not long after he started wrestling. You might think that Kevin Owens' name is a tribute to Owen Hart, and it is, and it isn't. Like many wrestlers, once KO got to WWE, he had to come up with an original name. He kept his real first name, Kevin, but the name Owens was inspired by his son. Kevin Owens' son is named Owen, and Owen was named after Owen Hart. We all know what RVD stands for. But where did it come from? Long before RVD wrestled in WWE or ECW, he was performing at smaller shows. A wrestling promoter said that Rob looked like the actor Jean-Claude Van Damme. The promoter then told the young wrestler to start telling people that he was Jean-Claude's cousin, so Rob took his real first name and added Van Damme to the end and never looked back. AJ Styles did not like his name. When he played football as a kid, everyone called him AJ because his real name is Alan Jones. However, when he became a wrestler, he was put into a tag team with a guy named Steel. The idea then got pitched to give AJ the last name Styles, so the team would be Steel and Styles. AJ disliked it because Styles didn't sound cool, but as AJ Styles began to establish his career, he grew to love it. Unlike a lot of wrestlers, Kofi Kingston basically got to keep his name when he went to WWE. Before making his wrestling debut, Kofi decided to have a Jamaican character. He took his real name, Kofi Nahaji, and he used the capital of Jamaica, Kingston, as his surname. The name was near perfect, and when WWE signed him, they simply took out Nahaji and shortened the name. How R-Truth got his name is a bit more complex. In his early career, Truth went by a few names, including K-Quick and K-Crush, depending on what company he was wrestling for. In 2002, while Truth was working for TNA or Impact Wrestling, he got on the mic and said that he had been held back because of the people above him. He ended with this. I'm not an angry black man! I'm just a damn truth! Soon after that, the wrestling rapper started calling himself Ron The Truth Killings. 
After leaving TNA, Ron Killings went to WWE. In an interview, True said he was backstage with Vince and Stephanie McMahon. They wanted his new name to start with R, likely because of True's real first name, Ron. Stephanie then blurred out R-Truth and that settled it. While nothing was confirmed, it's hard to imagine that Stephanie wasn't inspired by Ron the Truth Killings. As a kid, Ryback, whose real name was Ryan Reeves, got the nickname Silverback after a friend said he looked like a gorilla. The big guy liked it and kept using the name. He eventually got a tryout with WWE as a competitor on Tough Enough and used the nickname there. However, Ryback would not win a WWE contract and later, Mark Henry started using the nickname Silverback. So once the human wrecking ball made it back to WWE, he needed a new name. He decided to combine his first name, Ryan, and Silverback, which created Ryback. WWE accidentally revealed how Jeff Hardy did his jump off the raw stage. To see it, watch the video on screen.